Thank you for tuning in again for story four. No, I'm not done yet. Um, there's more stories to come. And yet the fourth is the last story that I'm sharing with you on my journey beyond. So in this story, I, I had to learn really listen to my heart, to embrace my uniqueness, to break even more labels. So this is once upon a time. I learned to embrace my uniqueness. I stopped the fight. The the judgment of self, the, it's still about fitting in, as you will find out very soon, the full acceptance of just who I am. So when you still get triggered with things, you actually know you're not finished yet. The trigger means you haven't really broken the story behind, you haven't really found that piece of your soul and brought it back together. So what always triggered me, and this is what the story is all about, what are you, you're a coach, you're a teacher, you are this, you are that, and I'm like, eh, I don't want to be any of this. What is the category? I'm not in a category. And yet, who am I? We, and now I mean Sassy and myself as Sonic Sonkos, we are still in a place where rent to pay, we have bills to pay in general, our living is not free, we are not in a position that we plant everything that we can eat, in fact far away from that. So there is still a point where we need to exchange our gifts, our values for receiving. And of course, at this time, it's still mainly money. And so how do you place yourself? How do you show up in the world? Yes, I'm a qualified teacher, whatever you want to call that. Yes, I am a coach. I'm healer and all these kind of things but for me it wasn't about that it's it's not the labels that that bring the value to the the work that we do so i get a lot of downloads about fancy words the consciousness architecture heart sync of course and the ascension archetypes to take us into this new gold brand of ascension not just me but all of us to to come back into harmony with the whole planet and the universe to make consciousness heart synced consciousness accessible to all so not only that consciousness that is aware of what's going on around me and whatever but the, the consciousness of the unconscious, the soul, the stories and the need that is behind the mental control and slavery. And so on some level, as long as you are kind of dependent, it's still very hard to fully step out and yet being here to embrace that uniqueness. Now I create new words all the time, but it doesn't mean that you are always understanding them. It does mean that you recognize that maybe we are the perfect people to work with you right now, or myself, depending on whatever your, your inquiry is. How do you know 
that I can take your need and transform it into your possibility or your potential. How do you know? How do you find your way to me so I can share my gifts with you and be of service for you to be on your journey of ascension, the ascension archetype and so many different things to clear your past in a way that you can truly live in the here and now. So that is a whole different journey and it is not an easy journey. We're still living in a time where marketing and all these things are important. How do you attract that ideal client into your life? That one that wants to do a retreat with you and is able to take what we give beyond and apply it in their life. How do I connect to you who is troubled in your experience? The signs that make your life difficult, that makes you realize something is off. How do I connect to you and let you know that I can help on one level, but more than the help, more than clearing these energies, I can assist you to become truly free and set free and not falling back into these kind of experiences. How do I connect to you? when I am not in the labels and I'm still on this journey. What has changed is the acceptance and of course the energy has changed because more people understand my crazy language and more people come here to work with us to set free, to step out of their entanglement and entrapment and enslavement. But yet, next month is another month that maybe starts with zero. Yes, some people go with us on a journey of a couple of months, but this is not the idea to keep you forever. It's a time of going within, how to, how to be in that integrity, how to, how to play that role, that mission that I have come to play, going back to coming in as a soul. And so who came to me here is beautiful giraffe. And giraffe is possibly one of the most unique animals. It looks very different from many, many others. It's surely, I believe, the tallest. And it's not about being tall for me. It's about that ability to see beyond. The giraffe is also very much in their heart. And they are kind of graceful. And graceful is about your own beauty. Graceful is about being humble. And maybe one of the most difficult things for a giraffe, as it comes to me, is to fully embrace my uniqueness and still be of service so that you can recognize that I am here to take you not from A to B, but to take you in this wholeness of consciousness and truly set free, not only for you, but for that whole new earth, for that new age. Find your own spot in there. So while it's my story, 
And it's my story to break that I don't need to fit in the label. It's my story to break and embrace my uniqueness. I'm also here to embrace your uniqueness. So this is the last story for now. It, it is not quite finished yet, and I'm fully aware. And it may not be my last story at all. So we are just in the middle of this huge transformation that the indigenous talk about from 2012 to 32, the Atlanteans and possibly one, and the star seeds that I'm surely one. And what is it that takes us beyond? What is it that allows us to embrace who we truly are, that uniqueness? What is it that allows us to be in that wholeness and come into sacred relationship with all? And it's not for me to be the coach or the teacher or whatever. The teacher is within you. It's for me maybe more about the music and the sound and the writing and the videos like that so that we can find harmonic resonance. And you know when to pick me or us, Ceci and myself, because Ceci also has a lot of magic and together sometimes you get some very extraordinary things from us. How can that happen? It's still a quest. So Giraffe is with me and Giraffe is also with you. But this series was not about me really. It was about all of us. To find our own uniqueness, embrace it and love it and share it and dare to be who we truly are. So let me finish off with a little sound, as I said, to open up that path, to create that connectedness between you and I, our wholeness, the journey beyond the mind and the conscious into the unconscious, the lower worlds, the upper world, the super and the heart consciousness so that we can all be truly one, not only here on earth, but with the whole cosmos. So thank you for being here with me on my journey beyond and the four stories that I wanted to share with you today, but not today, over these next four days. And thank you to my bird friends who play with me music, more than music, but the harmonics of the universe. See you soon. Let me know how this story resonates with you and maybe how you and I can find a way into your stories and how to take them beyond.